Uh, just checking my pupils. No, wait. I'm not checking your pupils. I'm checking. I'm checking my pupils. So actually, um, as you're studying, that would make you. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, okay. So that thing I have there that says. You could build this thing by cutting off a stupid pen and finding the time to go get one of those stupid jet things in my gun. Ah, oh, well, I'm running around for nothing. Because it turns out that most screwdrivers have a hex bit. It just happens to fit perfectly in a DRV and a, in a digital 8 tape. Look at that, it just fits up perfectly. Not only that, but this particular one is designed for just such of those things sockets. So you can have a socket driver, and so it has the same hex size on both ends. So I just uh, stuff that thing right into my old handy dandy drifter, 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 drill, uh, drill drifter. Make it stick out enough so that it sticks. And I want to center right up. Now here's the problem with that. The problem with that is this. This little thing, this little gadget right here, is a. It runs across. It locks in both reels. There's a reel over here. And on the edge of these reels, if you look deep inside, you'll see there's a, there's a, it looks like teeth. Well, those teeth engage into this lock, so they, when you're, when you're running around in your bag or something, the reels just don't come unwound. But unfortunately, if it is wound or something, you need to go one end to the other. Uh, if you're not just like pulling empty tape out because you had a jam in the camera or something like that, you'll need one of these, some kind of springy clip or something. That pinches that, that pinches that bit of plastic up and away from the reels so that it, the reels don't hook on that anymore. I happen to use a bobby pin. Now the problem with bobby pins is they have these little bits of plastic on the end, these little dabs and dubs that keep you from scratching your head. But unfortunately, I have lost one inside a tape and it took me a really long time to get it. couldn't shake it out. had to take the screws out, open it up. Don't like doing that because then you might put it together wrong. But anyway, so at this point, I've got this out of the way. I've got that out of the way. Don't forget that there's a um, there's a shutter release over here. So when you pull that shutter release down, you can pull the shutter back. Now we have the shutter exposed and there's tape exposed right there. So we're going to observe. Now when we're doing this, we're going to do it on that side because I'm doing a regular tighten the screw thing. If I was doing a loosen the screw thing, that would be tightening the other side. So if I'm going to go clockwise on my screwdriver, like this, uh, bow! Can't do it now. I'll be right back. i got to find a thing. Bobby! Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, if I spoke West Side Cockney, this, this would be my personal identification. Bobby, ah, I get it, Bobby Pen, okay, personal identification. Okay, so um, we're going to just stick that guy in here, boink, 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 stick that guy in there, lock it up, oh, you can't see it from there, I can, there you go, okay, it pulls the, uh, the uh, reel release ratchet out of the way, maybe I should do it with the other hand, then we can see it even better, now I'll stuff that guy in there, I had the shutter open before, but I'm better now. Oh, look at that tape is winding. Now, this particular tape, oops, I get in there. This particular tape I had trouble with because it was jamming up somewhere. So you can see, I'm going to do this on low speed, but you can actually tell that by, by this one spinning right here, it is actually winding the tape. And if I did it on the other side, if I had like a big problem, I could flip this guy. Whoop, now it's going the other direction. If I did it this way, it'd be going clockwise. If I did it this way, it'd be going counterclockwise. And I can stick it in the other side, but this time we'll open the shutter. So you can verify operation. I like the verified operation. I also like putting metrics. People say, well, it's about that much. Is it well, exactly how much is that much? Okay, so metrics. Give me a number. Okay, now we can stick it in the other side because I got that open. And it's going in a backwards direction. Double check that it's going backwards before I engage it because I don't want to spit a whole bunch of tape out. Or get it, get it all. Uh oh, uh oh, didn't quite you hear that. That means it's not. It's not open here. It didn't, it didn't pull that out of the way yet enough. Okay, now let's try it. There we go. Nope, still not doing it. Hmm. Come on. Well, as long as you pull that, I've got to pull back now manually. But it's nice to have that done with the, uh, it's nice to have that done with the uh, piece of metal, something that you find, some, something that you can keep that clip open. And all it took, was I've, I've used busted ones. I've used you know 
I said, oh man, I stripped the head off of that one and filed the end off. This one happens to be designed as a as a hex driver, socket driver that fits in your screwdriver set. Wonderful. Okay, so oh, and the other one was, and the other one was, don't forget to uh, make your handy dandy adapter, oh. your X Duo adapter for the long guys. Oh, I'm trying to get it. It's already in the camera here. See that below? That's going to be right down there. Where you can turn one of these into one of those for next to nothing. Oh, and a word from our sponsor. A word from our sponsor. A word from our sponsor. Nobody's going to accuse me of being their time vampire. Okay? So, do not subscribe. Uh, don't subscribe. I'll come and get you. No, then you'd be my time vampire. You don't want to be a time vampire, we just got finished taking way too long telling them one of these could make a great tape winder.